Hello everyone. I meet the most interesting people right here on Duval Street in Key West, Florida. I'm Kit Carson, the Earl of Pizza, and I sit here on Duval Street every night and every day and I talk to the rock stars, the heroes, and the gods. It's what I do all night and all day. Nice. This yeah. is the first time I've seen you here though, to be honest. Really? Yeah. I've even got a sign right here. It says reserve parking for. Her. She doesn't get out much. Hey, look I at get the, out every night, baby. Look at the camera and tell everybody your name. Everybody wants to sit with Kit. Yeah. I'm Gypsy. Gypsy? Yeah. Where are you from? I live in a van down by the river. A la Do you live with that guy in that van? No. I live oh. by myself in that van down by the river. You know what? That's awesome because I don't think the van would want... Anybody else in it? Hell no. <laughs> Not down by the river. No. It can't even handle me 90% of the time. No. <laughs> that van's got a hard life. It gets moist in there and wet sometimes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> man. Does it? it does. Every now and then air it out? I mean, the door's always open. The door's always open. <laughs> gypsy, gypsy, watch out now. The door right. is always open. You're right. going to get in trouble now. I mean, you told me 10 seconds I have to be good. Other than that, I'm All fine. Right. 10 seconds are off. <laughs> Gloves okay. are off. What's going on with Gypsy tonight? I'm going out drinking and just listening to my friend Josh Kaiser play over there yeah. at the other bar. We're going to Smoking Tunas next to see what's going on over there. Who's over there? Is it Caffeine Carl or is it Nick? No idea. Uh, I'm, they always have good music, so. Yeah, I don't ever know either. Yeah, yeah it's kind of an early night club, yeah. but it's good. Yeah. Whoever they have there is always good. Yeah, I, I go to bed by nine, so I'm an early night girl. What do you? What time do you get up? I get up at six. I go exercise. You know, I have to drink my coffee. I have to work in the morning, stuff like that. Huh, so what do you do? Do you want the honest answer? Or do you want me to tell you the wholesome answer? Uh, we got plenty of time. Tell me what the you want. The wholesome answer is um, do social media. Social media. That's a great answer. And with that, you get up early? Yeah. Yeah. All you right. have to. You have to? Yeah. Why? I have to get back to messages all the time. Yeah? Yeah. Do you, how many messages do you get a day? Fuck, thousands. Thousands? How many followers you got? A lot. Half a million. Half Almost a million. Almost a million. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Yeah, that's a lot of people to keep happy, and I can't ever do that. <laughs> and, uh, I think you're keeping most of them happy most of the time. Usually, on my one page. <laughs> well, well, I think that's the page that pays. It is the page that pays. So, who That's else? the important page. Right. Yeah. How long have you been doing this? Three years. Three years? Yep. And do you do it? Do you have anybody else helping you with it? Nope. You do it all by yourself? I do everything myself. Now I know why you get up at 6 in the morning. Right, there's no time. You gotta have your coffee, you gotta work out. Right. And you're a busy girl. I am. What'd you do before social media? Oh, I worked at a shit job. <laughs> care, a shit job. Care, I mean, can I was, talk about those shit jobs. You want me to tell you the shit job I did? Yeah, oh, tell me I worked at an auto parts store. I was an auto no, parts gypsy. manager. Oh, oh, that's not a bad job. That's fun. Okay, you had all kinds of grease monkeys all day and night. Yeah, I got you. No, it's people telling you you're doing everything wrong all the time. Yeah, that's not the part that's I That's worse than friggin' social media. Uh, I didn't order that part. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah. yeah. So what else? I was a barber for 22 years. Is that the haircut you have now? Yeah, I do myself, yeah. You do yourself? Yeah. When you say that, do you really mean it? Yeah. Yeah? I, I do a lot of things myself. <laughs> oh. I've got an overactive imagination. It's working good. That means you're. That's. Yeah, that means you know where I'm going with this and I coming. Do. Oh wow! <laughs> I'm enjoying this a little too much. <laughs> Tim, get me out of here. <laughs> He's the one that dragged me. You're right, the so one that dragged listen. me over here. Yeah, that's true. Well, you know, you walk by wearing a Mrs. I am. A very nice Mrs. Claus I wanna, outfit. I came down to Key West because I know everything goes here in Key West. Right. So I was like. It's almost Christmas. Yeah. Not quite December, but it's after Thanksgiving. That's when it's appropriate for Christmas shit. You're damn right it is. I after mean, Thanksgiving. After, don't, don't after you push clean it the that. table. Yeah. Food, food's but gone. It's time to get it on. I'm I want. With you. I wanted to walk around in my cute Mrs. Claus outfit. And did you know what's underneath Mrs. Claus's outfit? Wonder Woman. <laughs> my second favorite. <laughs> oh my God, Tim. How about that? Did I just die and go to heaven? Maybe. Yes. <laughs> I love my job sometimes. <laughs> I've had some shit jobs too, and this is yeah. not one of them. No? No. Yeah, usually when you get to talk to people and get to know people, it's way cooler. Yeah. 
than well, fucking sitting behind a parts counter. I find people interesting. Me too. You know, people do amazing and incredible things. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, I travel around every state in the country, Where do you, and I've met some really cool ass dudes. Where do you claim to live? In my van. In the van? Yeah, so I, just, I don't have a house. How many I don't... miles have you put on the van this year? On this year or like all together? Oh, okay, let's go all together. Three years. Is in that three how long years, you've been in the van? Yeah, it's like 118,000. I bought it um, with 24 miles on it. So I have 118,000 miles on my van now. But I've been to all 50 states. You've been to Alaska? Yep. I flew there and I flew to Hawaii, obviously. Okay. Well, you can't really, okay, so you can't really drive to Hawaii. I know. Now, I wasn't going to call you out on that, but I'll tell you this. By the time I was like 12, I'd been to 47 states. Well, weren't you blessed? I was. Yeah, I mean, not all of us had listen, that privilege. We were a family of gypsies. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. really not gypsies. So, I mean, yeah. But we traveled. Right. We, that's all we did. Yeah. Coast to coast all the time for yeah. like six years. Yeah. I don't know how many thousands of miles. What's been your favorite place so far? Alaska. Alaska? When were you there? In April. Was that a... Motorcycles, we're doing an interview here. Could you quickly like, buy it? So you were there in April? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like a bad Chinese movie there. <laughs> so you were there in April till what? How long did you stay? Three months? I just months? stayed a week. A, a week? week? Yeah. You drove up that far? No, I didn't drive. Flew. I flew up to okay. Alaska and Hawaii. And Anchorage, where'd you go to? Went to Anchorage and then I went down and drove down to Homer. I got a rental car while I was there. Okay. That was beautiful. Homer's amazing. You know, Homer? I'm not gonna lie, Alaska's, it's the last state, I, it's the only state I haven't been to. The other two that I, was Hawaii, because you couldn't drive there. And then the other one, oddly enough, was Michigan. I mean, I, I've got a sister that was born in Wisconsin, for God's sake. Michigan's and we, beautiful. And we still never went to Michigan. Yeah. I've been twice now, but never really anything past Detroit. Yeah. Well, okay, um, the Michigan racetrack, which is in like Brooklyn, yeah. Nowhere? Yeah, yeah, it's nowhere. But yeah. Michigan is beautiful. It, it. I'm just getting my lighter. My cigarette went out. <laughs> you smoking those non-American cigarettes no, where they actually go out? Yeah, they do. Wow. You know, Paul's lit, lit gypsy lighter cigarette. I thought you were going to show you something. I, 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 was, I showed you my... my there were surprises up that skirt. There's, something. There's no penis there, I can tell you that. <laughs> I've got so many. You can't take me anywhere. I've got so many things to say about that. <laughs> so what do you go by other than Gypsy? That's my name. Okay. Gyps. And and we. My friends call me Gyps. And how long are you going to be in Key West? Anybody having a place to park for free? <laughs> You've got I mean, the how, van. How long can I park in your driveway for? <laughs> I get it. I get yeah. it. So would you stay here longer if you've had a place? Yeah. Yeah. I love Key West. I come back every year around this time just because of the weather and it's a cheaper time to come up the year. Do you almost always rock the same hairstyle? Yep. So that's why I know you for like the past three years? Probably. Okay. I had brown hair last year, but the year before I had blonde hair. Yep. Okay. I remember you. A hot girl with a shaved size of head. But you never had me in your interview before. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I was afraid. It's okay. Maybe. maybe. It's okay. Maybe you were afraid. I don't know. I'm definitely never afraid. Never? Good. Good job, baby. And who are you traveling with? I know you say uh, by yourself, but you got I do. I, my friend over here, yeah. I called her the other day, and I was like, hey, I wish you were here. It's really cool down here. She's never <laughs> been here. And she booked a ticket the next day, and she's like, okay, I'm coming tomorrow. So, All right. Yeah. That's awesome. She's awesome. That is that is fantastic. That's well, my listen, friend, the Moist Queen. I'm a pretty good damn friend. You are a pretty good damn friend. She is a pretty good friend. <laughs> yeah. How do you know her? Work. At the auto parts store? Nope. Have you heard of this place called OnlyFans? I've heard of it. I don't know much about it. Yeah, it's, it's a, a great place. It's a, it's an online place. It is an online place, yes. And a lot of people are on it. Yep. But I, I am the only fan of myself. I, I can tell you that, I learned how to copy and paste. <laughs> I got you an ashtray right here if you need it. I learned how to copy and paste a year ago. I, I was totally. So this is on YouTube. Oh, this, oh, yeah. Can you follow me on YouTube too, guys? So, so you. Can, I have a YouTube too. You can go to sit Gypsy with Gypsy Under Supervised One. 
You're welcome. This is a good time to shamelessly plug Sit With Kid on YouTube and I'm yep. on Instagram and Facebook and all those other things that I I have, am too. I never knew about until last year. You could be living in a van down by the river if you did this full time. If I was making the kind of money you were making, I'd be happy to. You have to show your butthole online. I'm not sure there's a market for that. You might have to bleep that part out. <laughs> Maybe. On YouTube, you probably will. <laughs> well, I'll let my editor and my producer figure that out. In the meantime, I'm just going to look at you and talk to you. <laughs> All right, so hey, listen, thank you for being a great thank sport you. and being here. I, I, I knew that I had seen you before yep. and I wanted to know who you were, and now I do. I'm just a crazy bitch that lives in a van. Uh, you know what? There's nothing wrong with crazy bitches that live in vans. But you know what? I have a great time. I Every day is a happy day. I could tell you do. Yeah. You are absolutely happy. I love everybody how they are. Unless Damn they're right. a dickhead. Then I don't like those people so much. But other than that, I love everybody. Yeah, you know, when they figure it out, they can come around. If not, right. they can keep going. Right, exactly. You. Well, I know you're on your way to go listen to some music right. and have some cocktails. But before you leave, could I ask you one last question? What's that? Are you ready for it? Maybe. Okay. If you were a pizza, what kind of pizza would you be? Oh, I'm going to make so many people pissed with this one. I know where she's going with this. Is, is it going to be fruity? Maybe. A little bit. I'm, uh, people are going to be like weird. Go ahead. Hit Pineapple me. and green olives. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. Sweet and, and tangy. Salty. Yeah, salty. <laughs> I like that. Well, I'm a fan of the green olives. Me too. You know, and actually yeah. I'm a fan of the pineapple. Me too. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I've only owned a pizza shop for 35 years. I've tried every combination. You Maybe can a little of. hot peppers in there too. Little I was jalapenos. Gonna, thank you for the jalapeno. Yeah, Maybe because. Little jalapenos in there too. You just yes. gotta be careful of your butthole the next day after you have jalapenos. Well, it's a little hot. Well, then you'll know when you're hungry again, right. when it stops burning, right? Right. It's like time to feed me. Well, anyway, Nipsey, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Tim, I think that's all we've got for now. We're going to let this young lady run away. All right. And I hope hope we have her back again. I'll be here for as long as I can find a parking spot. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Tim.